Welcome back to Improvision Entertainment. My name is Hunterman, and this is Metroid Zero Mission. And we are continuing from the save point. Knocking it to the full screen. Click into buttons. Giant mouse cursor. It will destroy us all. It seems a little bit slower, but it does its job. As we can see, there is absolutely no lag in the, um, emulator <laughs> that I'm blaming for anything that might be happening. I knew exactly what that was, and I still fell in it. And that happen happens. That happens. That happens many times. Oh, that's right. You can't like wall jump up one wall in this game. Hmm. Do I want that E tank? Uh, let's let's make it not a question of want, but a question of uh, if I end up needing it. Just in case. Ah. Can I get this E tank from the other side now? No, nah, but the bill. Are you done? Oh, I can actually get the E tank from the other side. Pretty sure that's not original design. I don't actually know which way is faster. I'm about to get bumped by a thing. I guess that other way has less dudes to deal with. But this has more missile drops. Alright, now we're saving. Progressimo! Missiles. Oh. I need a weapon upgrade of some time to recharge me.
Speaking of recharging me. Keeping it in from the original game, I see. I don't know how many I'm supposed to have, actually. Like, 115 or something? Why does it keep giving me super missile drops when I'm full on super missiles? That's a little weird. Data. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, there's a save area straight ahead. Map data acquired. things come out faster. Alright. Save Aria. I'll start the adventure from here next time. Alright, let's see. Oh, come on, no wall chicken? Where there would indeed be chickens in the wall. I know what that is. Some of those things bouncing around. Even more missiles.
Interesting. Well, I could have one more super missile. Frighteningly, the game is loading me up on missiles! Another false floor. Wait. Am I supposed to skip that false floor? Where does this go? Hmm, check out that mini map. There's a thing here, and I don't see it. That means I only get 12 energy tanks in this game? Yikes. Alright, made it that far. For the sake of argument, we are gonna save at max capacity. And we're gonna try and not miss that jump. going up in this room? Oh, through blocks. So it's down. Oh, so it's just... Wait, hold on. That means there's a whole room in there. Like Zelda 2 style. Huh. Yes, brilliant. I am the best. I'm the smirt. I will take all of the damage. Okay, hold on. So if I actually go. Wait for those blocks to come back. Oof. Hello. I was trying to turn around, because I knew that was going to happen. Alright, well I got that power up. Well, double power up, actually. Alright guys, time for just the tiniest amount of cheese.
That's right, we used a save state just in case, wanting to make that forward progression. You can just imagine it took me all those minutes to get back around here without that save state. For example, how much time it took me to go all the way down, through here, and across, and back down, and then maybe recharge with the save, and then come back across. Alright, just imagine I did that. Just imagine I did that, okay? We're just imagining now. A little lower. Fuck. Ah! What the hell? <laughs> and then I just make the jump and don't bunk, bonk my head. Don't bunk my head. Uh, okay. Thought I missed it for a second there. this floor giving way and just dropping me in lava. Uh, that's pretty sus. I guess in case you didn't have super missiles yet? Missile tanks just hovering in the air. I assume they're being supported by the background element, but uh, I can't see a background element that would support them right now. The game is doing everything in its power to make it so we're not going at Ridley right now. It's running out of map space. I. Kind of it. Still, it is giving us quite a lot of missiles, isn't it? Oh, stamp. I definitely could have had that. Game. Oh, I didn't realize that was a ceiling piece. See if I can bomb it and knock it out of the way. That's a fall through from the other side. Hmm. Oh, I'm I'm a dork. Be a dork. Shit. Eh? Hmm. 
Can't jump on those blocks? Can't jump on those blocks. Alright. I'm not willing to give it up. I mean, I am, just not right, just not right now. Not, not right now. <laughs> I made that so easy the first time. But of course, you always make it pretty easy the first time. Oh god damn it, Hunter Mun, you had that. All you had to do was press the right button. Shoot down. trick is that this controller's d-pad is not designed for as quick of... It's designed for more modern games, I guess I'll say. pressing the button one too many times. <sighs> See, there's the knowing how to do it, and there's the executing on it. And I don't know if it's partly the emulation, or if it's simply my reflexes aren't what they used to be, you know, 15 years ago. falling down to get that to work. Quick way out? God damn it! <laughs> the shot and jump buttons are on the wrong buttons. And it doesn't mess me up until right then. This button. Okay. That wasn't annoying. I don't know what you're talking about. Um. Wait. Where am I going? Was this all to get more stuff? Am I actually heading for the save room? Wait, 
Wait, that's lava. I don't actually want to go down there. Is there a left exit out the save room? There is. Well, for everybody who is watching later on the YouTube, I thank you for watching. This has been Metroid Zero Mission presented by Improvision Entertainment. I have been Huntermon, and presumably in the next recording, we'll be facing Ridley. Later.